Hi everybody, it's Wanda. Got to try out something that today I decided, you know what, I'm just going to try this. Um, first of all, I wanted to tell you that I watched Mina Villagas do a 48 by 60 canvas. You have got to catch that video. It is so gorgeous. And it's gigantic. I don't even have the nerve to do that. Plus, I don't think I could lift the thing full of paint. But she had done a video that I saw a day or two ago that shows how she mixes her paints. And she uses golden uh, some of the time. And she was showing the golden heavy body. So I just kind of went by her recipe using the Liquitex Basics because it's kind of thick too. Not really a heavy body, but pretty thick. And um, this is Mars Black. And I want to use the Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, and that's the only two colors that I'm using. So what I did was I put the Liquitex gloss, varnish, and medium up to that first line. Then I put a pretty good amount, probably about three quarters of an ounce, half ounce of the gold, and then I finished with... Um, Floetrol to get it to this consistency. So it's running pretty good. Um, this one is about the same way. Might be just a tad thinner. It's hard for me to tell because there's two different size cups there. I need seven ounces to go over this 12 by 16. I'm using a used cup that I washed out. Um, 12 by 16 canvas. And so I think what I'm going to do actually is take some of this and just wet the surface to help it move a little bit. Not really even put down a base coat, just kind of wet the whole thing just so it'll move. I've had that Mars Black for a long time and I've never used it, but... Um, my black that I get from Louisiana is a satin. It's not a matte. And uh, even though she just did one that had pretty much, well, no, she had some phthalo blue in there that I don't think was a metallic, but she did have green metallic, gold metallic. She had a black, and it turned out gorgeous. That's that big one, the 48 by 60. It's gigantic. 30 by 40 is plenty big for me. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is just use the two colors. I just want to see what will happen. So, I'm going to start out with the black. Go in with some gold. I'm just going to layer until I think I have enough. And probably do straight pour. Might as well use all that gold. I don't want to have it sitting here with the Liquitex pouring medium in it. Um, and left over. <laughs> Plus, I want cells. Now, one thing she did on that big one, and she ended up with a lot of cells. Um, she poured it. She was pouring several straight pours. So, the first one had already celled up. It was, it was really celled up. So... Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I want some of that black. Maybe I'll do it like this. And let it just sit there and sell up for a few minutes. For a minute or two. I may cut the video and then come back in. So that you all don't have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. So I want to use all this because it has the Liquitex pouring medium in it. Might as well get it all out of the cup. She only used four colors in hers and it was gorgeous. I really like it. I think it would be very soothing. But with the movement of the lines that she had in her painting and the, 
the sales that she got from the gold. It's not boring. And it's one of those things that you're going to see it across from, from you across a room. It's going to be beautiful because of the movement of the colors. And then the closer you get, the more detail you see, the prettier it's going to be. So let it sit there for a minute. I'm not going to torch it. I just want it to sit. It looks like I'm getting some bubbles right here. And it looks like I do have quite a few bubbles. Um, she did have the wind blowing on her, so that might have popped her bubbles for her and caused cells. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I'm going to cut out and then come back. Okay, it's probably been about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and torch it. Pop bubbles. Hope you all can see that. This did not roll over the edge. So I'm just gonna pull it down like that. I'm not loving that big blob of gold in the middle. And I wanna keep these, if at all possible. Got it over all the edges. Hmm. I'm not seeing a bunch of bubbles pop up or a bunch of cells pop up. Let me see where my paint is. My belly's growling. Seems to be right in the middle. 
may not have had it thin enough. Might should have had have added more um, Floetrol to thin it down. She said she didn't put any water in hers. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. So I certainly did not get the sales. I do like it though. I think it's pretty. I just wonder if it's going to dry dull. I'll pop some bubbles, see what happens. See if anything happens. See a lot of bubbles popping. Hope this doesn't dry so dark that you can't see the gold. I do think it's pretty though. Just for two colors? Oh yeah. Just wish I'd gotten a whole bunch of those little cells, those little tiny cells popping up. Now, I just watched a video of Julie Cutts using this stuff, and she went as thick as I did right here. So, I don't know what the situation is. I mean, my paints are not warm. They're in the basement, which is always cold in the wintertime, really cold. I have to wear leggings and heavy sweatpants and then two or three shirts um, to keep from freezing down here. But I've also got the vents open because um, I just I want my paintings to dry. And I just did a couple of big paintings. You'll be seeing, you've probably already seen that video by the time this one posts. So you know that I did a couple of big ones and they actually dried really good overnight. So maybe I'll turn those vents back, close those vents back up now um, to keep it from being so chilly down here because I do wonder if temperature of paint has something to do with it. I have no way of knowing. Just my rotten luck <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I still think it's pretty. I'm going to take the camera down and give you a close-up. Thank you so much. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I invite you to come back, spend a little time with me, see what I'm up to, because, you know, these ideas hit me out of the blue most of the time. And so I can't predict what I'm going to be doing next time. So, um, thank you again for watching. So, this is how it looks from up top. Um... The bright, the gold really looks bright, but I have a feeling when it dries, it is not going to be that bright. But definitely have some line action going on there. Up in here, I have a few cells popped up. I hope that the, some more would pop up. Um, there's one, one lone little cell. The corner being dark is okay because it actually has that little, couple little stripes right in there. Um, so I guess this didn't work, but it was fun finding out whether it would or not. So thanks for watching.